and third, third, they're both dirty shit. <laughs> Face what it is, but brother Bobby him. All right, John chapter four, chapter 10, 34, 36. Let's go to 33 first. They answered Jesus, saying, For good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, and because thou, that thou, being a man, makest thyself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, Ye are gods? Psalms 82 I have said, Ye are gods. And all of you are children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. All right. Now, if you know Bobby Hammett, you know he his thing is you are God. You are above the God that you have been worshiping. Right? Well, you know, whether you want to believe or not or whatever. Right? My thing was, if this is true, it would be some kind of hints to it within the mythologies right so it should be some kind of hint to it in the bible all right i wrote it on here so you can see it real big in the beginning god created right it's the first words of the bible right in the beginning now that word in the beginning in hebrew is bereshit bereshit yes curse words in the bible so here's a breakdown of it of the hebrew uh, my own personal interpretations. Um, I'm not honestly sure how correct this is. I did this like a month or two ago. I just found it just so I could do this video. So I'm not going to really explain it. I just let you look at it. But anyway, you know, that's that. But anyway, um, so what made me know this was right back to this book. Secret Teachers of All Ages, Manly P. Hall. All right. Sheets. The Kabbalistic Keys to Creation of Man. Right? This is talking about Geomantria, Not Notaricon, and Tumora. These are three systems which you can use to interpret the Hebrew letters, or really any letters, differently. And Geomantria, as we all know, is numerology. Okay? Uh, no, no talk. <laughs> Notarcon, or whatever the hell you say it, is something else. And my flash just went out because my battery is low. That sucks. So anyway, I'm just going to go there. And then the other one is uh, Tamora. That's a rearranging words like anagrams. No, no, no. That's, um, that's, um, I'm fight. You can read it if you want to and figure out what it is. That's not the point. The point is this, okay, by Not Notarcon. Each letter of the I probably said it wrong. Each letter of the word may become, each letter of a word may become the initial character of a new word. Okay, thus Bereshit, first word in the book of Genesis, are extracted six, are ex, <laughs> extracted six words, which mean that in the beginning Elohim saw that Israel would accept the law. All right now what does this mean okay in the beginning you say in the beginning this is the word in hebrew barashit all right the bet is b the beth is b which means in the r is resh which means the mind or the head the Aleph, which is the first word, means is God. Uh, Shin is God descending into physical reality, like God seeing something in the physical. So, you, know, you understand what I'm saying? It's, it represents fire, which is God in in the physical, right? All right. Israel is Israel. It's the chosen people, the firstborns, you black folks. Okay, we already know who the real Hebrews are. And, and this word is um, Ta which is Torah, really. It's the first word of the word Torah, and we all know that Torah means the law. So, the first word of the Bible, okay, if you listen to Bobby Hemet, he said that they took all the ancient mystery systems and put them together as a conglomerate and made religions for people who couldn't understand the mysteries yet, you see? 
So within that, they wrote the keys to the mysteries. So with Geomantria, Notakera, whatever the hell she's called, <laughs> you can find out the true meanings of the scriptures, okay? So this first word, Bereshit, means in the Bible, God, you know, in the beginning, because uh, that's in, in the beginning, in the beginning, in the head of God. So in God's imagination, he saw that no matter what he go through, no matter what shit he's put through, he will, as Israel, being in the physical flesh, accept his law. Do you understand? So the whole thing with the Bible is in the beginning, God had an inspiration. And he said, you know what? No matter what I go through, I'm still going to be righteous because that's just my nature. So what did he do? He set forth nature. This was God's epiphany. An epiphany is an explosion of light within the mind. This is the physical Big Bang. Get it? No? Well, you should. So, these are the numer numer um, the geometry to it. To bear a sheet equals 913. Now, what, now what I've been saying since I've been listening to my brother 13, son. You are the 13. 913, anybody who know numerology, that 9 don't do nothing but take it to a higher octave. So that's 13. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? So you are 13. So, like, here is proof in the esoteric isms of the Bible of who that book is about. It's about Israel. All you got to know is who's real Israel. Isis, Ra, and El. You, you see what I'm saying? You see? Now, real quick I wanted to give y'all this too for those who don't know come here you see 913 Bereshith in the bible blah 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 blah, blah right all right check what 911 is beginning pit of destruction pit of destruction flames hmm y'all know what happened on 911 Gabora is uh Mars and if y'all look back on September 11th, it happened on a Tuesday, which is ruled by Mars. And if you go to Revelations 9-11, it says, my Bible's hooded up. Uh, and the king over which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name is Abandon, Abaddon, but in Greek tongue is Apollyon. Apollyon. Hmm. Apollyon. It made me think like two poles, two polys that got knocked down. I don't know. That was freestyle right there. But I'll let y'all do it. Peace.